pulled out the monstera from the pot to see what is even under there because I needed to deep water it and I found like four feet of roots it was crazy I'll show you guys later but I'm here buying a plastic pot to repot it and um, yeah follow along I've only bought a few plants from here. The Monster Adansoni is from here and it's doing really well. Ooh, I've always wanted one of these. Oh wow, this is where all the big ones are. Cool. All right, let me look for the size. So the planter is 14 and a half inches tall and 15 inches wide, so I need to look for one that will fit. So at first glance, there's only, well, there's, might be this one. Okay, let's measure it. Oh, this is too tall. Oh, this is gonna be too wide now. Let me look at my picture that I, I actually think these are too big because this is like 15 inches, including, it's past 15 inches. And then this one is 16. Okay, it's not gonna work. Moment of truth. It fits, woohoo, success. I also had to clean this out because it was so dirty. This is the current state. Just literally look how long this is. And this, and underneath, it was literally so much roots and it came out from this outside of, like, how is that possible? This pot that I bought has these giant holes and what I did was I put rocks so that the soil doesn't come out of it. Okay, so there's the planter. Got a bunch of soil perlite. I got this big soil that I bought today and then we're gonna go ahead and Oh my gosh, let's do this. I'm putting the cactus succulent mix at the bottom so that it drains better. And then we're gonna layer it with regular organic potting mix. Thank you. We need to split her eventually. Like, she's just taking up our whole kitchen right here. Oh yeah, those scissors are pretty dull now. When it comes time to this, yeah, let's remove the stick first. It's kind of tied up in there. Those ties worked when she was much smaller, but now that she's bigger, it's just like, doesn't work as well. And then I have to untie this too. Is it untieable? Yeah, because we can reuse it. Oh, so that, wow, this stick used to be longer, but it like imp implanted into the tree. So we cut out the entire pot and this is what's going on with the roots. Whoa. Okay, you wanna help me put her in? Yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. So all oh, her roots. Let me try the roots first. Okay. Why does she have this? Okay, yeah. Go on. Go on I in. got a leaf of this under it. You want to help me? This one? This one over here. Okay. Oh, you're good. That was literally the hardest thing we've ever done. I need you to hold that. Okay, where?
Well, it's the aftermath, but we did it. Look at that. Actually, come to think about it, this pot was really small for her. No wonder she grew up with it. We tied her up with this like thing to really get her together. It kind of looks like a sculpture, but at least it'll start growing upward instead of outward because it's taking up all the space. My watering jug with some fertilizer. I typically do about four of these. That's just how much I've estimated works. Also, just from like a pure look standpoint, the black pot is higher than the white one, as you can see, but for ease of being able to take her out of this pot, if ever I move or if ever I need to water her in the shower, anything like that, I decided not to cut the plastic lip, which you can, but then it's like so impossible to pull her out. So I'm gonna have to live with how it looks like that. You can't really tell anyway because her leaves are covering it. <laughs> it's so crazy. She used to just be going all over, but now she's going upwards. So I wanted to take a few weeks. Actually, it's been a couple months since I repotted it, maybe one month, and I wanted to show you the update. So when I first repotted it, it was all scrunched up, but I bought this bowl from Home Depot. It's basically a dowel, staked it into the soil. So now I have two stakes. This is the original one right here, and this is the new one. And I started to tie up as many stems and stalks that I can try to get tied up. And now this monstera is just thriving. So this is a this is a brand new leaf after repotting and it's kind of taking over this entire corner, which is like so awesome. Definitely gonna need a bigger place for this plant one day or I will just drop it down to the ground because right now it's lifted. So it just is so much happier now that it's repotted. At first, all these roots were coming out of the sides. Like it was just so many roots coming out of the sides, but now it's just like good to go. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I hope you continue on your plant journey. It's a journey for sure. Lots of patience, love, and care go into these plants, and I hope you have a wonderful day.